you are watching a master work. Taurus is the sign we're doing and you got the wheel on the bottom. So this can either go in your favor or go against your favor. It's up to how you move. It's up to how you, what decisions you make, what choices. It's all free choice of will. If something ain't going right, look at the person in the mirror. Would you please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend to tell a friend. Why? Because we're all friends. Okay. Let's get into this reading for Taurus. And they said stop right here. You have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like the most high is coming down to you guys. Look. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then you have the Six of Wands. And again, I'm going to say this before I get into your, your reading. I do apologize, Taurus, for talking um, outside your reading. But um, do not get on my tarot talking a mess because my clapback is anointed because I just got this energy that a lot of people are going to be like, why is our reading shorter than such and such? It doesn't matter. It's however long I take the message. And some of these readings, I was babbling. Anywho, let's get back into your reading. You got this queen of swords. So I feel like the most high is sending some type of spiritual downloads to you. Now you may not, or to your person, somebody's going to have an epiphany or some type of spiritual awakening, right? That's the energy that I'm getting. And I don't know what form my ears are ringing. So that lets me know that your spiritual guides and ancestors been trying to tell you, but you've been ignoring. Look, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Keep on ignoring. You're going to have this five of wands. That's conflict. Um, listen to those signs. You're getting spiritual messages. My ears is it's like it's ringing and it's itching. Like I feel like you're focusing in on what people would say or what people would think about you. Instead of focusing on what the Most High has put in your lap, has presented you with. Um, these are spiritual downloads for good things. Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups. Who the hell don't want this? Come on, Taurus. And then you got the Page of Wands. So I feel like somebody's childish. You're going back and forth for somebody's childish. You're not even going back and forth in your head. This is you arguing. You could be arguing with a kid or you could be arguing with your divine counterpart or anybody that you're dealing with and they're childish. Five of Cups. I feel like you're dealing with a significant other that's childish. They also could be a player, a cheater, because this is like a knot of wands. It's somebody who comes in passionately. That's all they bring is passion. Page of Cups, I feel like you want to offer this person. You're moving towards offering something to somebody, um, but it's not this person. I feel like it's whatever message that the Most High sent you because you done got judgment. It's what you done manifested. So the Most High them told you to pour into yourself. Star card, this is Aquarius. This is what they're telling you to do and you're doing it because you're going to get that two of cups cancel card is what you're moving away from you're moving towards i'm sorry because i saw the three of swords you're moving towards the two of cups which is cancer scorpio pisces this is a cancer card but look at all that water and you're moving away from this three of swords gemini libra aquarius you you're tired of being childish with this person you're tired this is what this is Two people are agreeing. This person make you childish. Bring out the childish in you. This person has been a juggler. Like, whoever, you are, whoever you're walking away from, Pisces. I mean, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, you got the high friend right here. This is you coming out in your own reading. So you will be successful. You will be victorious once you heal. Star card Aquarius. Once you heal yourself and pour into yourself and listen to these spiritual downloads that you're getting from the most high, listen to your intuition. Like you got self fulfillment and then the most high giving you that cup that runneth over. Like that's what you need to be focused on. I feel like that one's gonna come out a little bit sideways because of the way my hands was on the card. That's the only one y'all wanna I was about to say. Y'all know y'all ain't had me shuffle this shit up for nothing. And what dropped on the ground, you guys? Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Taurus. Seven of Wands. Go ahead and release what you need to release because 
you're going to stop yourself from getting that ace of cups and that nine of cups and what follow that with that is the king of pentacles and the damn ten of pentacles like come on now you can move on from this shit just put your guard up and i never i don't have to tell people the lord that guard i'm telling you taurus put your guard up come on now just go ahead and take that leap of faith do what you gotta do if you gotta guard yourself you, you, you feel me guard yourself but do not cheat yourself out of an Ace of Cups, a Ten of Pentacles, and a King of Pentacles. Do not do that, Taurus. Please don't. Because not only are you going to break your heart, you're going to break my heart. On the bottom, we have personal issues, which is the resolution. Luck is on your side. Come on, believe in yourself. Leave, what, leave whatever that doesn't serve you. I feel like you're dealing with an entity that wasn't for you. It says communication is the key. That queen of swords, that person didn't, excuse me, you guys, that person probably didn't want to communicate with you. Hold your vision. I don't feel like they're telling me to tell you to hold your vision. I feel like that queen of swords, um, oh, my ears still ringing, but made you hold your vision. Like, you probably came up with a business idea or something that you wanted to do, and they was, like, telling you, nah, don't do it, don't do it. That's because they wanted you to hold your vision. They didn't want you to excel, and then they got worked through your fears. See, they was... You had a fear, and they was eating up off that fear. Like, let's say you had a fear that you wouldn't sell. Yeah, you're not going to sell this, but what if you do this? What if they... They was... Look, work through them fears. Fear is like salt and sugar. Number one killer is sugar. That's what this fear... That's what fear is. It's just the thought, and it shouldn't even be a fucking thought. It's, it's not emotion. It's not nothing. Let that shit go. Communication is key. A person can't communicate with you. You do not need to be fooling with them, period. All adults know how to communicate. You want to know who don't know how to communicate? Children. Animals. And even animals know how to communicate within their animal kingdom. Can they communicate with us? Some of them understand. But y'all get y'all know the point, and that's for the smart asses. They told me to keep that yellow one. I don't know why they say yellow. They say yellow, yellow. Is that the only one y'all want to get to us? Don't do them like that, because... I already feel like people are going to be complaining about their videos being short. It says no need to worry, which you don't. It may not be the right time. It's divine timing. Whenever the most high, you have to heal. You have to open up all your chakras. You have to be in tune. It's just so much stuff. It's basically dealing with self. Love self. Heal self. Focus on self. Do good deeds. Um, just be nice. Be your right self. If it ain't of the most high, then don't dabble in it. That's how I look at it. And be assertive. I feel like a lot of you tourists, a tourist, a lot of you be thinking y'all bulls, like stubborn and all this shit. But a lot of you guys lack assertiveness. Like, be assertive. Be stern. Be aggressive. Mean it. Because when you say stuff, a lot of people don't believe it. And then it says perfect timing. You got not the right time. Perfect timing. And as I said that, divine timing is the perfect time. It's not when you want it to be because when you want it to be, something may not be right. The most high sees everything. So when the most high gives you something, you're going to be able to enjoy it. It's going to be right. It's not going to have no motives, no nothing. So with that being said, Taurus, let the most high, let the most high guide you. Move only when the most high tell you to move. You should not be out here moving on your accord or anybody else's accord. You need to be moving with the most high. Because the most high wants the best for you and only going to give you the best. You can make a choice and one and you can choose wrong. That's 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 like come on, we're gonna, we're gonna look at it like this gambling. Come on, that's like a win, that's a win lose. You go to the most high, you're gonna win win. Which one are you going to do? You're going to sit where the win-win table is at because you want to win-win. You don't want to have no chance of losing at all. So with that being said, go to the most high where you will be supplied. Thank you guys for tuning in to this. Take that back. Thank you guys for tuning in to Spink Tarot where we do it real thorough. We don't have no bloopers on here. We just hit record and just start doing the readings. Thank you guys for tuning in and for liking, sharing, subscribing, or watching whatever it is. Support comes in all different forms. Um, and for the ones that if I have some or if I do get some, I don't want to speak it. You know, the opposite of thumbs up. Um, I love that anyway because you took your energy time out of day to hit that you know button so that means you watched it and even if you didn't you're just a hater you're still sending me you you you, you. tell readers no you're giving me good energy you're making me be abundant so with that being said y'all thank y'all for tuning in i see the beauty in every struggle period peace and positivity prosperity namaste